this video I'm going to demonstrate how a four stroke or four cycle engine operates. This particular engine is a Briggs and Stratton off of a lawnmower that got scrapped. But before I send it to the scrapyard, I want to use it to show you how a four stroke engine actually functions. Just the basic function of why it's actually called a four stroke or a four cycle engine. Uh, normally the carburetor would be mounted to this side of the engine. And then over here we've got the muffler. Uh, this part of the engine is called the head. And I've taken all the bolts out of the head except for this one here. The head you can see contains the spark plug. And we'll take the head off. And uh, kind of dirty inside there. Now what you're going to see inside here, this is the, uh, the cylinder. And as we turn the flywheel, you'll see inside the cylinder that, that's the piston that goes up and down. And then over here we've got valves. Uh, the the uh, intake valve is here. The exhaust valve is here. The reason this is an intake valve is because with the carburetor mounted on this side of the engine, the gasoline enters through this tube and then into the cylinder uh, through this valve when the valve opens. And of course this is the exhaust valve and the exhaust from the engine goes out that way and out through the muffler. I've loosened the muffler up a little bit here. And you see here, this is where the exhaust comes out. So, the way the engine works is uh, the, the, the engine starts in this position and then as the engine spins the intake valve opens up allows gasoline into the chamber so as the piston moves down into the cylinder it sucks the gasoline into it and then this valve, the intake valve, closes and the gasoline that is now in this cylinder compresses as the piston comes up, squeezes really tight inside inside here. This is called top dead center of the compression stroke. Now all of this gas is compressed in here. At that moment is when the spark plug sparks ignites that gasoline and bang small explosion inside here forces that piston back down and then when it gets down to the bottom the, the other valve the exhaust valve opens back up and as the piston rises back up it pushes that that burned fuel out of the exhaust valve out through the muffler and then the system starts all over again. So, stroke one, intake valve opens, suck the gas in. Stroke two, piston rises up, compresses the gasoline. Stroke three, spark plug ignites, bang, pushes the piston back down. Stroke four, exhaust valve opens up, piston comes back up for the last time pushes the exhaust fumes out of that valve, both valves close back, and then the system starts all over again. That's why it's called the four-stroke engine. Now if you take a look at the side here, over here are the, uh, this is the valve cover, these are the valves in here, and you'll see as we turn this, each valve opens and closes, and what pulls it closed is the tension of the spring. And as you've seen in some of my other videos, to replace the valve, take it apart, you got to get the springs out of there. So now what I'm going to do, is take the bottom of this engine off, and we'll show you what's going on inside. All right. This is the engine when it's been opened up. You'll see here's the, uh, the piston and the cylinder and the valves. And I showed you here the valves are. And the valve cover would normally cover this up and it's wide open. But you see, on the inside of the engine, there are these little 
metal plungers. They're called tappets. And they sit inside, one on the exhaust and one on the intake. And this is the, uh, the crank. And that's what powers the piston going up and down. Now the timing of this is done by these gears. This gear here has a small dot on it. And this is called the cam. And if you'll notice the cam has bumps on it that are offset from each other. These bumps actually press on these tappets. And as this spins around, that is what actually pushes the valves open at the correct moment that it needs to be open. There's a small dot on this gear, and there's a mark on this gear that tells you how to line these up so that the timing is correct. Make sure that those two marks match. And then as this engine spins, the cam, uh, excuse me, the crankshaft here turns the camshaft. The camshaft in turn pushes the tappets up and down when they're supposed to be turned up and down and the valves open and close when they're supposed to be opening and closing. And the, all of this is all timed pretty well. And uh, there's not much I can knock it off except for maybe the flywheel key here. The flywheel key, if that's damaged, then the timing will be off and your engine won't run right. Uh, but the internal engine parts, as long as everything is timed and lined up the way it is when you put it back together, you should be good to go. So that is how a four-stroke engine works. Once again, uh, tappets push the valves open and close at the appropriate time, and the piston goes up and down, down, up, down, up, four strokes or four cycles. And that is how a four-stroke engine works. Thanks for watching.